Wayne Goldman on his birthday in his NFL debut. Yeah, you got to tell, he's got his rookie, he can do it all. And that was October 1st, 2017. And here he is, the guy scoring his first NFL touchdown on his birthday last year. Going into his second year now with the Giants as a running back, Wayne Gallman. Wayne, thank you for joining us on Sports Extra. Man, anytime. Thanks you, for having me. What do you think, looking back at that, that was your NFL debut and you score your first touchdown on your birthday? Right. Um, honestly, you know, it was good looking back at it, but, you know, wish I had a couple more of those. <laughs> you know? So, it's good memory. But Wayne, as you go into this year, I mean, yes, last year was hard, but you had an opportunity mm -hmm. so that, you know, you were able to get on the field. You were second in rushing on the team. What did you take from that last season that you can carry over now? Uh, basically, I took it as a learning stone. Mm -hmm. um, all the adversity we went through, pretty much, you know, game in and game out, seeing how we had to do things, playing smart, just everything that as a player that you need to look at, I think I really took a hold of everything that we went through last season and, you know, coming into this year, um, got a new mindset, new goals, and I'm ready to get at it. So training camp starts this week. I know a lot of rookies, a couple of select veterans, they reported today. When do you report? What is your schedule this week? Getting ready for camp? Uh, I report on the 25th, Wednesday. On Wednesday, and then you're yeah. good to go. Then it's the pads and everything on Thursday. You guys get going. Yeah. Being that it's your second training camp, what will you do different? Is there anything different approach? Um... Take a little bit more serious, mm -hmm. uh, not only for just getting better every day, but for myself as a player um, and just showing who Wayne Gallman is every day. A lot of changes, obviously, that happened uh, in the offseason. What were what are your initial thoughts after mini camp and having some of your offseason workouts with your new head coach, Pat Shermer? Um, and I love the new coaching staff. You know, I still have the same running back coaches last year, Coach Johnson, still mm -hmm. love having him around. but. You know, the whole new coaching staff reminds me a little bit of Clemson, man. Everyone wants it. Everyone wants to be good at whatever they're doing and come to, coming together. So uh, mm -hmm. I like where we're going. How is that atmosphere different? Uh, I say last year, every, since, you know, everything was kind of bad. Um, you know, we had good vibes and then you had bad vibes. And, you know, you just had a sense of, you know, people wanting to do this and then some people not wanting to do that. Whereas right now, everyone wants to have that, bring back that Giants pride that, mm -hmm. you know, the whole organization has had for the past couple years. Now, you're good friends with um, Minnesota running back Delvin Cook, who mm -hmm. played, obviously, Pat Shermer was his offensive coordinator last year. So coming in, when you knew Shermer was hired as the head coach, what did he tell you about offensive systems and his as a, as a coach? I mean, obviously, Mike Shule is now your offensive coordinator, but what you expect from a Shermer offense? Um, all Delvin told me is pretty much that, you know, Expect Coach Sherman to just listen to us as players. Um, he's going to do whatever's best for the team. And I uh, expect us to have fun. So, some pretty good things. What were your thoughts when the team drafted Saquon Barkley, another running back to the crew? Um, I already knew we were going to take him. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much we knew it ever since the draft was going to begin from uh, the combine. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the best player in the draft. Um, a time like that is just a good addition to have on a team with the goals that we want to succeed with. So, uh, you know, it's a, a Saquon has been great, man. From everything I've seen, I can't wait to see him in pads. You know, I'm just glad to have him as my teammate. Yeah, and you guys have had the mini camp, your off-season workouts together with him there, and you also have Jonathan Stewart, mm -hmm. and there's a couple other guys as well. But what has Coach Shermer said about your role and what he values and what he needs from his running backs? Uh, catch the ball to block. For Eli and uh, you know everybody can run but to block and to catch the football that's pretty much all he ex expects out of the running backs in the room. That was that was a receiving touchdown too wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so there you go he catch the ball. Has he said anything about returning kicks for you or you know when you look at the play the new playbook and stuff like that do you see plays you really being able to contribute to this offense? Um, yeah but you know we've only been in OTAs and uh, mm -hmm. all that other stuff so I think um, when we, you know, begin training camp, everything will start to really, I'll get, I'll start to really get a feel for whatever I'm going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And, um, cause you know, right now I really don't know. I've been doing pretty much everything. So, right. you know, I'm ready for, you know, whatever comes. 
with you, Saquon, Jonathan Stewart, and, and I, Pat Shermer has said this a lot. He says, with the running backs, it takes a village. Mm -hmm. And the Giants have lacked a really great, strong rushing game for years. You feel like you could be part of something special here in 2018? As long as we put the work in, I know I'm ready to, uh, you know, take that big leap forward. And um, I know the rest of the running backs are in the room. So, you know, we're getting prepared for a really big year. When you uh, have training camps, is there anything you look forward to the most or anything you're dreading as well? Because it's hard work. <laughs> uh, you know, going into this year, not really. I'm mm -hmm. ready to get at it. I'm ready to, uh, you know, start this football season. And, um... You know, just show everybody that we can be way better than we were last year. And meanwhile, I mean, speaking of new teammates and all that, you have a totally new, uh, you know, reinforced offensive line from mm -hmm. those OTAs. And like you said, it's a little different still until you get into training camp and put the pads on. But from Nate Solder to even rookie Willie Hernandez, what have you noticed different about that offensive line and how it can help you guys in the backfield? Uh, they're hungry for it. They're hungry. They want it. They want to get after it. They want to be in pads. You know, mm -hmm. all OTAs. So you know that says that says a lot about about them. So you know, just from last year and from how the offense how, how the offense lines look this year, uh, they look pretty good on my part. You know, real quick question: Your national champion. Mm -hmm. What did you learn, or what's your message to people? I think this is so inspiring. How you guys lost to Alabama, at, you know, in the 2016 national championship. You came all the way back and beat them. What did you gain from that, or what's the message to people? Um, it's all about team. Mm -hmm. um, it's really all about team and loving your brother beside you. Because when the push goes to shove and, you know, it comes to like that last play, you got to be able to look in every one of your teammates' eyes and know that they're going to give their all as you will. So that's all I got to say. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. I know it's a couple of years later. But good yeah. luck this year, Wayne. And I'm looking forward to that team spirit this year at the New York Football Giants. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you.